Hello boys and girls, we're working now with the in operator in Delphi. When using the in operator, if you're watching this here, when using the in operator, the set of values can be a range of values, with the minimum and maximum values separated by two full stops. Now what we mean by that is, look at this example here, if you want to check if, if I num is, in, is a number from one to six, we simply say I num in your range, your lowest range is one, two dots, six. So from one to six. That's what the first way in which you can use the in statement. The second way is you can check individual values separated by commas. So if you want to check month, uh, the month, something about the months, we can say if the month in one, two, three, four, five, all separated by commas. So we can check a number separated by commas. We can also use it to check vowels, to check if it's, if, if, a, if a letter is in A, E, I, O, U. Now we can also use as minimum and maximum values here from A to Z. That means any letter from A, small letter A to small letter Z. We can use multiple cases, see a combination of range of values. If we want to check a string, like a sentence, if we need to check each, see the square brackets I, it means each position of a string. We need to check if the letter at that position is a small letter A to Z, comma, or cap letter A to Z. Yeah, in this case, we're checking if a number is in from one to five, or it's an eight, the comma is, is like saying or, O R, or, it's 50 to 53. So it, can, it must be in any range of these values. If C letter in A to Z, that means a letter is in, from A to Z, or small letter A to small letter Z. So you can use the in statement by listing individual letters, individual numbers, a range of numbers. If you look at this for cell phone number, we can check if it's not, where the cell phone number is from zero to nine. If it's not enough from zero to nine, which means it's not a number. So we can use a not statement. Now int, the int statement is used for characters, single letters. See like S and I, it's a, it's a single letter in a sentence. So it can be used for characters, for integers, or for Boolean. These are called actually ordinal values, which we'll discuss again at some point, but they are ordinal values, meaning we can have the next letter like or next number. So for after A is a B, or after one is two, three, four. So we can't find the next number because of the ASCII values. Each of them has, each character has an ASCII code. So you can't find the next number. Now you can't use it for full words. For example, this is not allowed. You cannot say if word in and say hello. If you're checking for greetings, if word in hello, comma, hi. And this is not allowed. Because what comes after hello? We can, there's no word after hello, so we can't use this. Therefore, we do not use them for words. We use them, however, for values or letters or characters that have ASCII values so we can find the next one. So after one is two, after 50 is 51, after A is B. So you can increment or decrement, decrease these values or letters. Uh, to use the in statement in our application, firstly, if you look at your sentence, we use s sent to store a sentence. Now we will generally be using ic, where ic is a counter, so that each position in a sentence, or each character in a sentence can be stored. That is actually of type char. See, c, let, Ascent is of type string, 
See, let means let is of type char. And therefore we say if the letter is in A to Z. So we said it can be used for letters, integers and boolean. But you cannot use it for string. But by saying, putting a string with square brackets, the string is now treated as characters. There's other conditional statements we can use. Like if we're checking the days in a month, you can either say if I day is greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to 31. It's the same thing as saying if day in one to 31. It's a faster way of writing your conditional statements. If you're checking if the month is a valid month, that is between one and 12, you simply say if month in one to 12. Your other option would have been if you're using an if statement, you said if I month is greater than equal to one and I month, sorry, I month is less than equal to 12. That's what you'd have done. But this is a shorter statement to save from 1 to 12. Similarly, for the year, we can use that. It's a faster way of working, the year. Now, let's look at our first example. It says write code to input a person's full name and display the initials of the person. Now, if the full name is Mary Ann Lamb, we need to display M, A, and L. Those are the initials. But how do we figure out where each name starts? Remember, in the previous application, we had a name and surname. How did we separate the name and the surname? We looked for a space. So here we can find the position of the space and copy the one after the space. It can be done. There's more than one method to do this. But if you find the position of the space, we have to delete it because position of space always gives, position always gives the first occurrence. We'll never be able to find the second one if we don't, do not delete the first one after we've used it. But an easy way would be to use a loop to go and look at each character in your, uh, in this case, in your string. The string is a full name in this case. So I wrote down the string here as a full name. Now each character is stored at a position. Remember I said one, two, three, so I numbered them. One, two, three, four, space is five and so on. The space is nine up to 13. Now if you trace this program I've done, you enter a full name, your initials, your first initial year is the M, is the first letter. So your initials is, is equal to S full name, because S full name is this memory location here, or this variable here, that's going to contain Mary Ann Lamb. That's your full name. Position one, this position one, M. So M will be written. I will write it M there. Then it says for IC is equal to one to length of full name. Length of full name is from one to 13. If the full name IC, if IC is one, it takes the first one, which is M, to see if it's a space. Now instead of saying in, <clears throat> sorry, instead of saying in space, we can say if it's equal to space because it's only checking for one thing, right? You can say if it's equal to a space, but if it's in space, then initials is equal to initials. That means you're adding. The plus means you're adding, means joining. You're joining to initials, S full name, IC plus one. So if IC is one, remember IC is one, IC plus one would be two. But now in this case, it was not, M was not a space, so we'll ignore this. And we go back up to your for loop and IC becomes two. Is this a space? No. So IC becomes three. Now point to the third one. Is R a space? No. Then we go to Y. Is Y a space? No. Then we go to five. If five is a space, yes. So if it's a space, then we join two initials. The plus means join. It's a concat. So you join two initials. The letter that's the IC value plus one. Remember IC was five because it was a space. 
5 plus 1 is 6. So join to it 6. So joining 6 to it. And it will go back up and we look for the next one, which is 7. Sorry, which is 6. 6 is not a space and look for 7. It's looking for the next space. When I see is 9, it'll, it's a space and it will take the letter after the space. 9 plus 1 is 10, which is L. It takes the next letter after the space. Then it will continue until you reach the end. So whenever there's a space, it's taking the letter, the plus IC plus 1 is taking the letter after the space. And when we display, we will be displaying M-A-L from Mary and Lamb. That's your answer. The next video, we will discuss example two and example three.